For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how to install and configure free IPA server. So what does this mean free IPA server? So the IPA server is just like our uh, Windows Active Directory server. So where you can manage all the systems and clients from the single place, you can push the policies and um, configuration management can also be done from this um, free IPA server. So what does it mean by this um, IPA? You can see this. So the IPA means identity policy trust. So identity in the sense manage Linux users, client host in your uh, realm from one central location using the CLI or maybe web UI or RPC access. Enable single sign on authentication for all your systems, services and applications. So that's that's called as an identity management and policy. So if you come to the policy defining the Kerberos authentication and uh, authentication policies for your identities control services like um, dns sudo se linux or autofs so there are so many things you can integrate with this so that uh, uh, you can control the users from the single central place so next one is the trust trust in the sense create mutual trust with other identity management systems like uh, microsoft active directory example like this you can integrate multiple systems as a central location where you can manage push policies and all the stuff you can do that along with this whenever you are installing this uh, free ipa server over here which consists of 389 directory server mit kerberos ldap ntp server dns server and uh, dog tag certificate system so these are all the roles will be installed on the system and you can configure that to manage your all the systems and you can join the multiple systems uh, to this uh, single server and um, configure them or push the policies from here itself so let's see this how you can install uh, how you can integrate the other systems um, using this free ipa first of all uh, in this session we are going to see that how you can install and configure so basically you have to first step is to you have to do that uh, install um, um, like uh, you have to configure the m repository for your using your local dvd or uh, maybe you can use any other repositories um, then you just configure the static ip address um, then you can um, have to configure the host name uh, as a permanent ho static IP, static host name then you can continue this uh, installation okay so before that if you want to do uh, m configuration or ip address configuration uh, i'm giving the links below you can refer that to um, uh, configure how you can configure the IP address and all the stuff. So first of all uh, in order to do all these steps forward first of all we have to allow the applications uh, using the firewall. So firewall cmd iphone uh, permanent and I'm going to add service uh, it is http HTTP, HTTPS, LDAP, LDAP S, and Kerberos, Kerberos, DNS, and if you want to join the servers to the NTP, that can also be allowed. But uh, right now. Uh, I am just allowing these ports uh, other than that if you want to allow any other extra ports you can also add it over here so these are the ports are enabled now we'll just go ahead and see that whether um, these ports are added over here so list all this you can see this uh, DHCP DNS HTTP HTTPS Kerberos LDAP all this by default SSH will be allowed 
so these are the ports are allowed on this uh, public um, pol public zone and uh, the policies are allowed now you have to install these uh, packages in order to configure the ldap so m install ipa iphone server bind which is the dns package and nds ldap bind dyn db and uh, ldap so these are the required packages you have to install uh, if you want to install ntp also you can install this uh, ntpd packages so all these packages uh, dependencies will be installed uh, using this so most of the dependencies uh, are is available on the um, dvd media itself no need to configure any external one just uh, mount the dvd and configure the local m repository that would be more than enough let's see this so the packages uh, uh, will install let's see it may take little bit of time i will pass the video to in until the installation completes and uh, resume it back uh, it's still installing the packages like uh, 180 packages to be installed so now uh, the packages get installed uh, the installation got completed now let's go ahead and see this uh, here now you have to run the ipa server setup ipa server iphone install along with the dns i wanted to set up this as uh, with along with the dns over here so first of all uh, while running before running this you have to be ready with your uh, system ip address and uh, system uh, server name and uh, domain name all the stuff uh, let's run it uh, now so it says that existing bind configuration is detected do you want to overwrite so uh, currently i know that there is no bind is installed currently so let's say yes free ipa tech ark it dot tech ark it dot local to resolve the dns resolution you have to add the entry in um, slash atc slash host so here just uh, add that host name and uh, save that file now run it again Uh, now provide the real m uh, name over here so the real m name uh, will be already detected over here techrkt.local you just uh, hit enter it will continue and now directory manager password so you should remember this password because uh, whenever you want to um, log into the web portal or uh, admin portal so admin user so this is required okay now just uh, <clears throat> enter the password anything remember that okay now admin password okay so do you want to forward the configure dns forwards yes so because i wanted to con forward because external uh, anything you wanted to resolve it should forward to the external dns so now uh, do you want to enter one more ip address no uh, if you want to configure the reverse zone yes i need the reverse zone configuration um, yes this what's already the zone configuration name is already detected no need to do anything just hit enter and uh, it says in the finally uh, it will ask you for the confirmation that do you want to continue with the existing configuration so do you want to change anything over here uh, check it up all this username uh, sorry uh, ch check it up the domain name and the host name and the ip address all these correct then say yes now the configuration will be configured uh, it will take a little bit time and uh, it will come up with the um, next screen that okay the all the setup is going to be completed
after completion of uh, installation and uh, steps you can see this uh, the installation was completed successfully and setup is completed now this many uh, services got installed and configured now there is a certificate is uh, located in this uh, place so these are the certificates we have to um, secure them so first of all i'm just copying them uh, these two certificates to uh, opt uh, because i need to protect the certificates for that so now uh, just go to browser now open the that uh, server 192.168.2.10 uh, is the address so but it will redirect to the ip address uh, it will not open over here so in order to open this one so you may if you are using uh, dns then you have to add the dns entry otherwise uh, you can add the entry to the host file so that uh, it works so i'm using the windows over here so i'm just uh, going to uh, drivers in this etc so host file i am just uh, edit this file maybe you can use uh, cmd run as cmd now uh, notepad you can just uh, paste this path and uh, host file open this one and uh, you have to write the entry over here so i'm just writing the entry over here saying that 192.168.2.10 is uh, free ipa dot tech arkit dot local so now save this file and go to browser and type uh, free ipa dot tech ark it dot local now you can see this uh, it's asking for the confirmation because uh, the certificate is not valid so now you can type that uh, username is admin and type the password so now IPA server is got installed successfully. Now check IPA server status using IPA CTL status. You can verify that uh, whether the all the services are running or not over here. Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.